Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Industrial Faith. Welcome to Factorial Forex, your 15-minute Factorial Fix. This is Season 3, Episode 25. What are we doing? Uh, stuff. We are, uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go out and regulate some more. Uh, again, uh, the last, uh, 24, I sort of played for an hour and then didn't do anything for another two hours. Or another two days, I'm sorry. And so here I'm getting back into it because I've been, I, I tried to spend those two days thinking, what do I want to do? Now, a lot of people, why would you spend two days thinking about a video game? Well, it wasn't only that. Uh, I, I've, sometimes the best solution is to let your subconscious do all the thinking. Basically, let it churn away in the back of your head, and then all you do is uh, other stuff. So what I was doing in the meantime was I picked up Mordheim City of the Damned last week, uh, about a week before it went on sale. Ugh. And then, <laughs> so I've been playing a lot of that. Um, and it's a fantastic game. It is possibly the trolliest game known to man. Um, it gives EU4 and Crusader Kings 2 a run for their money in sheer amount of trollishness. And you may ask, well, what, what do you mean? Well, um, look, you'll just have to watch the videos and find out. And the videos will be out long before this is. But So this is about the same time. This is like the beginning of February. And heck, Season 1 hasn't even... Uh, Factorial Season 1 hasn't even finished yet. It's very close, though. Um, so, heck, you might be watching these in late March, April? Oh, yeah, possibly. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, mid-March, early April, maybe. Um, so, again, uh, just letting your mind sort of do what it wants and go from there. And, and sometimes you get some really, really good ideas from that because uh, your conscious mind doesn't always tie together all the disparate elements that tend to exist. Um, so this is this is me. I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Science out is what I'm doing. I'm trying to wait science out, and I'm looking at and and I should see this build off to my right and go. Something's goofy here, but I don't. Not yet. <laughs> so I'm checking my science. I'm going to put these in again. I have tons and tons and tons of science. The robot follower counts require some ridiculous amounts of. Oh, what do you think? Okay, so this is where I think I figure out something's going wrong. Come on, tell me this is it. Is it? Is it? No. Maybe. Either way, this thing, again, is chewing through all my stuff. And I don't figure it out. So, I don't know when I do this. I'm looking at plastics, how we do it on plastics. And this is where I start kind of fomenting the, or realizing, um... Although I'm going to go, I think what I'm going to do, uh, is this where I go secure the copper base? I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go do some base busting. Um, <laughs> run it into stuff. Uh, and the concrete. Ah, yes, the concrete. So I'm trying to take stuff off my bar. Ah, yes, okay. So I, is this, uh, maybe? No, I think I'm just going base busting. Because there's a lot of big bases out there, and... It's never a bad idea to go base busting. I mean, if you look at Biter Evolutions at 95%, uh, yeah, we're in trouble anyways. Uh, so, oh, noise. Ooh. Oh, gosh, that noise. Now, the funny part is, um, when I was doing that, uh, I play Factorio over my speakers for my PC, and that noise through the subwoofer actually made stuff start rattling on my desk. <laughs> and I was like, what in God's name is this? So, yeah. So here I'm trying to extend these out to give uh, just a kind of, um, what do you call it, direct the flow more. Now, um, if if I go ahead and do the... Um, do the civil engineering project where I make the big canal. Like, I have no idea what that guy, what that guy was doing out there. He's just like, you know. And you're going to see a couple of them, just random. Uh, if it was Dungeons and Dragons, we would call them wandering monsters. It's kind of wandering out. It's like, what are, you, what are you doing here? Like this guy. And so I'm going to build... He starts attacking my, uh, my power pole. I'm like, this shall not stand. So I'm going to... 
because I plan on now I'm checking over here to make sure he doesn't attack my power poles uh, but now I realize I need to put something up there because obviously we have uh, uh, the local jack hole committee coming to visit so it's who is it it's the HOA what <laughs> No, I was, I've actually been on an HOA. I served on my local HOA for four or five years. If you've never served on an HOA, um, you, you'll understand. Uh, HOAs are a different animal. And, uh, and the funny part is, or I shouldn't say the funny part, the interesting part is the worst HOA you will ever have will be made up of retirees. People with nothing to do now I don't understand why this didn't build there's something weird going on here and I, I don't understand it so I just get rid of it and build it somewhere else um, oh that's right I'm out of stone that's what it is anyways uh, so back to the HOA an HOA if there is if somebody doesn't have a job and all they do is spend time on the HOA oh god ugh yeah, that's that's the one. That is the run that made my speakers, it made my desk just bounce. I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, it, playing Planet Side Two didn't make my desk bounce as much as that run. So they, I don't know, they might want to change that noise because it's brutal. Um, <laughs> oh, there's some more for you. Uh, now I could, if I wanted to, build a car. And then, you know, I could use that car to, uh, you know, do stuff. Um, I don't. <laughs> um, I don't know how far flung my little empire is going to get here. Uh, but, you know, I could alternately. I could. Yeah, I'm just erasing it because I'm, I'm going to move it. That's a bad place for it. I need to put it, like, right out here because... Oh, gosh. That's miserable. There you go. I, I don't want to get rid of the monument. Nope, can't get rid of the monument. Now, robots are really labor-saving devices here. Yeah, I stand there, but at the same time, I'm not, not using my steel tool. So. Oh, I am telling you guys, that is just a brutal, wicked sound. Wicked. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm looking over here and I'm like, all right, I gotta go, I gotta stomp some bases. So, oh sorry, regulate. And I still don't have, um, I still don't, do I? Did I pick up any stone? No, I didn't pick up any stone. I don't have any stone, what am I doing? Whatever. I'm gonna go kill these things anyways, because they're in the way. Look at all those giant worms, oof. Just brutal. Now I lose a couple robots here. Which is bad news. Losing robots is always bad news. So laying concrete and shooting lasers is really loud. While I'm doing this commentary, the lasers are really, really loud in my headphones. And it's kind of hilarious how loud they are. But <laughs> that's that's how it goes. That's the Betty of the gosh. So that's me going, I don't want to stand there. What are you doing? Killing robots. Uh, fighters, why? Because they're almost robots. So. Oh, I did get stone. Okay. Wow, I completely derped getting the stone. I mean, I went to base and everything, and I just forgot. So, here's the fun thing. Those blue worms have a greater range when they're shooting at you. At least, this is, when I was doing this, it looked like the blue worms could hit me from farther away than they could hit my turrets or my robots. And I was looking at that, and I'm like, this is fascinating. Um, it kind of... Now, here's... There's some... <laughs> there's those worms out in the middle of the desert. Um... And there's a there's little biter bases everywhere, which are fun. I, I like the biters. Um, I was I reading something, or I was listening to a podcast or something. Not a podcast. I don't listen to podcasts really. Um, 
Maybe it was a, a YouTuber was saying how originally the biters weren't really meant to be uh, the end-all enemy, which they are right now. But here they are. <laughs> so it's almost as if they became that way. Um, now, there is somebody building a mod right now to make a lot more enemies. Some that burrow underground, some that are resistant to lasers, some are resistant to... Uh, guns, all kinds of stuff. So you actually have to have uh, different types of turrets, and they're building turret types. Um, for example, one of the things they have, and they're building that just to be sure. <laughs> there was no base down there, but I don't want anyone covered up anyways. Uh, for example, the, the guy's building uh, flamethrowers. He's making a flamethrower turret that uses oil. And it's fantastic. Yeah, I put that there anyways. <laughs> and he uses oil, which I think is really interesting. How appropriate is that? I don't really know. Uh, but it certainly is interesting, I think. So again, again, it's a question of... Uh, uh, so I think this area up here narrows. I haven't actually seen that it narrows. Uh, but I, the, the feeling I get is that it's going to narrow from the water around it. That's <laughs> me shooting the... Uh, Shooting the spawner. So it's like, screw it, I'm shooting the spawner. And there I went, you're dead. <laughs> I'm going to kill it another way. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier to turret creep with 60 turrets in your inventory. It's kind of nice. Because I know you can turret creep and then you clean up later. So, here we go. Uh, and eventually I will build a robot frame, a flying robot frame factory. Um, or I should say eventually, as in terms of series, I do do that because uh, it takes a lot of resources to build a flying robot. And let's see, what does it take? It takes electric engines, batteries, steel, and I think it's green circuits. I think it's green circuits. I don't recall off the top of my head. But, and there's a cool there's a cool little pair of bases down here off the edge, and I'm like, ah, get out of here. So I've got to go kill those guys, because suffer not the unclean to live. Sorry, a little, little Warhammer 40k in my soul. But this guy, this is a really neat biter base. I really like where these biter bases are. The game engine did a really bang-up job with them. Um, I was tempted to leave them there and just set up some turrets and let it kill them, but I decided no. So, because um, you know it's a waste of power. I mean, as neat as it would be to have like a little, uh, a little uh, zoo, nah. Then there's no real reason to have a zoo. You don't get anything uh, extra or beneficial or cool from killing biters, other than I mean, you get the cotton candy, and that's about it. I mean, other than that, it's like, pfft, you know. So again. I'm hoping they change that with a mod. Now I'm looking at this and it's a really big base. This base is enormous. There's that one guy on the edge because I was too far away. And then I'll clean all this stuff up because you don't need it. And again, taking on these big bases is a lot of fun. I wish there was a way to build uh, armored robots. Now I can build defender capsules and stuff like that and, and other things, but I'd really like to be able to build a higher quality robot that can take more damage. And a couple blue worms just wrecked me right there. And I also lost a couple robots. So, so yeah. <laughs> These guys are pretty buff and beefy. Beefy and buff. Yeah, they, uh... I may take in the base a little bit of a challenge, but my thing right now is that I'm actually running out of robots. And this is why I'm going to end up building a robot factory. It's not a big robot factory, it's just like, uh, I'm going to have basically 50 robots on call. Uh, 50 robot frames, because it's, it takes half a second to build a logistics robot, but it takes 20 or 30 seconds to build the flying frame, and I don't want to do that, so we're going to have to do it that way.
Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are wrapping it up here. Thank you for joining me for the latest episode of Factorio 4X, your 15-minute Factorio fix. As I put away my tools here, I will tell you I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. So have a good night, and bye-bye.